when you were young, you're doing stand up. Will Smith saw a tape of you and signed you. Yeah, he told me I reminded him of him. I mean, I, I kind of our first meeting, you know, I was rapping, telling jokes, and I even I had a script ready, and I was like, man, this is a TV show we should do together. And I pitched them a, a whole pilot, right? You know, right when I met, he's like, I'm in. Gave me a TV deal, a record deal, put me wow. in Men in Black Two. He was truly a mentor when I was 16, and always was a great example, man. Just just a, a solid dude. So, Nick, the big question is, when the whole thing goes down, here you are, you're a stand-up comic. When the whole thing goes down with Chris Rock and Will yeah. Smith, you're probably like, yeah. oh, fuck. I love Chris Rock. I love, what the fuck do I do? And this is a real show business problem. It really is. Yeah. I mean, what do you do? Everybody's waking me up like, yo, you see this? I'm like, what? See what? And, you know, at first, we all thought it was like a, a skit or something, uh, or that's what we were trying to figure out if it was real, but then obviously, you know how it rolled out. They start, you know, showing Will cussing out, you know, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. It's like, yo, that's, he's not, that's his best <laughs> acting no right there. He should get an yeah. Oscar for that. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and I think once we realized what it was, it's like, damn, this is so unfortunate. Because I mean, that was, you know, the first year that, you know, Will Packer was, was the producer. We had a, a black you know, production of, you know, Will was winning the Oscar Academy for Award. lead male performance. It was tough. And then, you know, me, I was empathetic. To like, man, I, Will's done everything right his entire career. And, right. you know, letting your emotions get the best of you in a moment like that is his biggest moment. I've, you know, I, I know he's, he wanted to, he, he's been chasing, chasing that Oscar gold for a while. And now, you know, it's going to be an asterisk because, you know, of that moment. And it's like, it, it was, it, it was heartbreaking for me, man. I, I, I my, and then even for Chris, man, like even have to stand up there and have to go through that. Like I, I my, my heart just felt for the both of them. Cause really, I mean, if we want to get into it and, you know, uh, you know, the psychology of it all, I mean, I, I, I was just a glimpse into the black experience, the black male experience, cause there's a lot of ego that goes into what we all do. And it's this thing where it's like, the, there's the bravado. There's this idea of like, it's not, you know, vulnerability has never been something that we sit well with in our community. And, mm -hmm. you know, that you saw two vulnerable men. And when, when it gets like that, you know, usually physicalities erupt at some point. 